Hello everybody, today we are going to do a very cool step. Welcome to another Bachata Futur tutorial. In this one we are going to learn the El Bajo. the El Bajo step on counts. You go from a basic step, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and three, four, five, and seven, eight. Now, this step is a simple one. All you have to do is slow down the first step, okay? Do it a little bit longer, like one, like that, instead of one. So when you count, the two will pass on, you won't move on it, so you go one, two, then you step on and between two and three, okay, two and three, and three, wait a little bit, do the tap. Now, one more time, so you go one and three, four, five and seven, eight, bum, 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 bum. We call this El Bajo, we call it like that because it matches the bass guitar on bachata, that boom, 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 as I counted earlier, like boom, 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 one and three, four, five and seven, eight. So we call it El Bajo because it's simpler that way. Now, some tips and tricks for the El Bajo. Whenever you go on this step, Use your body to slow down on that one. Don't go like one, wait, and then three, four. Instead, go like uh, the ball of your foot, then your heel like one. Use this to smooth out the move. So you go one, then and go with your the ball of your foot, then heel fast like bam, three, tap again. So one and three, four. Also, from this point of view, you can use that and without going on your heels. So you go one and three, four, five and seven, eight. It will help you because that and and the four will be the same. So you go one and three, tap. Five and seven, eight. One, and three, four, five, and seven, eight. This is the step, it's a simple one. You have to practice it a little bit so that it comes natural for you, but practice it slow. Practice it on your own counts, like one, and three, four, five, and seven, eight. Mix it up with a basic step so that you will feel the difference in timing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, and three, four, five, and seven, eight. The general feeling that you must have is that and three, like those two steps are way faster than the one or the four. Because this is one, it's long, two passes, we don't do anything on it, then and three, and three. Then it's again a small pause between three, four, four. Okay? So keep in mind these simple advices, then do it on music and it will be like a piece of cake. So the question for this video, if you're a beginner, how much time it took for you to learn it, okay? So learn it then, come back and give me your answer. And, or if you already know the step, how much time, if you remember, did it took you to learn it? So give me your answers down below because I am anxious to know your answers. Also, remember to subscribe, like, comment, comment, give me your thoughts, give me your ideas for this channel down below. I will answer them and we will continue to improve our video. Also, if you want, you can donate on Patreon because we need your support to do these videos better. So, until next time, see you.